yeah, you know, now I'm done. 6.30, worked out for an hour and a half. Everyone wakes up and I'm already done. I send out the majority of my early AM emails between 4.30 and like 5, 5.15. That way everyone wakes up and they're like, ah, oh, sorry. I get some BCAs. I don't know what they do. Get some glutamine, protein. It's my nutritional treat of the day. Pretty sure all of these things will help me live longer or kill me quicker. I work out so that I can have a revenge mind and a revenge mindset because I don't care how hard you work out or whatever you do physically, it's, it's what's in your mind that, that no one's going to be able to take from you. And I can't think clearly and I can't be as productive mentally as I need to be unless I work out in the morning. You are. You, you start your day early. You might even start your day earlier than me. Um, versus just what we went through last year. The building's coming along really, really, really well. And if we have to do something crazy, then we wait until March, April. But I'm, even though it's snowing today, which sucks for showing construction sites, I think that um, I feel, like I know you feel crazy, but I think we're, we're under the wire. But I think I, I, I'm starting to feel kind of optimistic. I spoke to, spoke to Ron, he told me that you guys had made an offer on a place at the Galleria, but it needed a lot of work and kind of this, that, the other. I, on the Upper East Side, it'd be very hard not to find that. Not pure Upper East Side, right? I think maybe maybe like the 50s, right? There's a lot of rental to condo conversions. There's a lot of uh, cookie cutter kind of white box buildings. So I know what you're looking for. I just think that the gallery is a little bit old um, for you and you're gonna have to do too much work. So I'd rather find something with a nice renovation. You don't have to do anything to if anything, maybe just you know something small that makes it your personal taste, and we can find something in the 50s and 60s. Now we are headed to Woods Bagot, which is an architectural firm. They're great, and we have our one of our kickoff meetings for our new Williamsburg condo project, big project. It's almost an entire city block on Driggs in Williamsburg. So we're going to look at facade options. Where am I going? Uh, figure out the unit mix, manage the envelope of the building, decide who our demographic is going to be, and kick this thing off. I'm a Matt? Yeah. I think I'm more of a Matt than a Ryan. See, now you're, you're scaring me, baby. You're scaring me. Okay, I won't scare you anymore. Seven, good. They're already here, sweet. All right. Kickoff. How you doing? Jeremy's How are you? up here. Jason. Jeremy's up. Do you hear him? Oh, he's not here. He's, he's Hello. In the cloud. Hi. Hey. How are you, Ryan? Hey, Michael. Hey, how are you? Hey, Jeremy. How you doing, Ryan? Great. Are you, are you seeing us as well, or is this just uh... it's the old seeing eye? Uh, <laughs> reception area space here. We've also put in a glass roof, which is going to be looking up towards that courtyard. So you're going to get a five-story view up. Nice. Which we can look at in greater detail. It just brings light and some of the greenery back into the building. And that's also a glass wall looking out into the garden behind the reception that's desk. Exactly, yeah. Cool. Are those considered generous sizes? No. Not for yeah. a three bed. Especially if they have 20 foot ceilings. Because then that's, then we might not go all out with four or three bedrooms up there. Then you can create interesting penthouses that people will pay for that are you know, convertible twos, but they're lofted. We just have to be careful about gross price point. There's only so much someone will be willing to pay for a one bedroom versus a two and versus a three. Then again, I think it's, it's really then about how at the sixth floor, how do we change the mix here? I think it's really hard to find this type of ceiling height. If the ceiling height stays and we have good light and air up here, which we will, my, my vote right now. It's not gonna be 20 feet. So if it's 15 feet, if it's 15? 15? Yeah. Which is still significant. That's then, that is a Manhattan purchaser who comes here for this premium apartment. That's it right there? Okay. Hold, please. We're in the car. I told you to hold because we went upstairs and we pitched a townhouse in Greenwich Village. That's awesome. It's going to be 10,000 square feet, 25 foot wide. 
the comps are $3,000 a foot, so it's a $30 million townhouse, and we would treat it the same way. We would treat a new development, like where we just came from, from our architects meeting at Woods Bagot, talking about 510 Driggs, because we want to develop it, because our fingers are on the pulse of the market. Head right? of the market. How do you think it went, though? Tell everyone how do you think the pitch went. I think it went really well. And thanks, dude. Keep watching. Great, great, really great. <laughs> <laughs> Cameron doesn't get out of bed for less than $30 million. I don't get out of bed for less than $30 million. I'm just going to leave it like that. I'm just going to leave it like that. I don't answer the phone for less than $10 million. <laughs> Um, and it's going to be a great year for luxury. Okay, good. We're sure. late now. I got to go. Okay. All right. See ya. Yeah. So good thing I didn't bring you up. They would have been so weirded out. Really? Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that during my day that we're not going to be able to put on the vlog, the vlog, um, you know, because there, there are pitches for projects that don't yet exist, pitches that I'm not hired for yet. Uh, that people can't know about yet, right? Designing for projects that are still secret, negotiations that are sensitive. So I want to include as much as possible, but we're not going to be able to include everything. At least not yet. At least not yet. Optimism. As a salesperson, you have to stay optimistic. You have to stay positive. The minute you get negative, the minute you start saying, oh, the market, oh, the seasons, oh, the weather, oh, no, I can't do this, is the minute you just are not a great salesperson because enthusiasm is what sells. I don't think I ever just sell a home. I think I always sell a home with enthusiasm and the enthusiasm is what excites people to write the check. All right, so I'm gonna go in here to a pitch and unfortunately you can't come, but while you stay here, I have a little treat for you. Uh, a new segment called Russian with Yuri. Welcome to Russian with Yuri. We're gonna learn how to say hurry up. Быстро, быстро, быстро. No, 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 then you gotta put the lid on. Just eat oh, the chicken. Yuri. <laughs> Brooklyn. Brooklyn. Rental to condo conversion, which we do a lot of. Don't die. We can walk. So this is 868 Lorimar in the park. And we launched this not too long ago and we have one unit left. One unit. One unit left. So this is the driveway. You can come in, unload, go down to private parking downstairs. It's a lobby, little water feature. Is it modeled? No. Oh. Want to go to the penthouse? Yeah. Yeah. So then the building is two, right? You got two buildings. It can take you. So there's two buildings that meet together with a common courtyard that sits above amenity space and private parking. So this is the doorman's desk, glass out onto the street. What's really nice is that it's right on McCarran Park. Wow. Looks awesome. Right? How are you ever going to clean those windows? I don't know. Look at all the lighting. See all that lighting? All special requests for the buyer. We sold this off market. They put this chandelier on a lift so it can come all the way down so you can change the bulbs. No way. Yeah. That's smart. Yep. It's got great views. Great outdoor space. It's a killer living space. We sold it for off market before it ever came to market. Broke the price record for Greenpoint. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Not that it's a big deal. This is my sold out pose. Sold out. I'm doing this because I honestly believe that real estate is the greatest career in the world for, for anyone of any age. And I would not be where I am today if when I was 24, I didn't spend a couple hundred dollars and get my real estate license. And so I am not going to be comfortable leaving this earth until I change the world. And I think that this is going to help do it. And I want everyone to see what this lifestyle is actually like, how busy it is, how much of a grind it is, how fun it is, how crazy it is, how you can be your own boss and determine your own hours and determine your own destiny. Because the harder you work in this business, the more money you make. And I do believe that if you put your mind and your heart to something, you can affect change. Why live, right? Like why wake up just to 
go along to get along. I mean, that sucks. I feel like I still have more to give. I still feel like I have a lot more story to tell, more things. I mean, there's so much out there that I want to put out there that people just don't know. And that's what this is for.